Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, well, as usually, when you face these type of games, uh, I think we all, especially the professionals, uh, the ones who are going to be on the field, we need to do an exercise of uh, maybe an extra concentration to try to to isolate ourselves from all the preparations and all the expectatives around the game, so we can perform in the way that uh, that, that everybody is expecting us to perform. It's difficult because the excitement is uh, is big, like mm. like everybody is expressing here today. Uh, but at the same time, in my opinion, is one of the keys that we can we can silence silence a little bit the noise and put the focus in what we do what we do better, which is uh, play football and and try to offer a good show to the to the spectators in the stadium and also at home. And, and you know, you know, listening to coach, he, he's speaking about the seriousness, the sternness of uh, Orlando Pirates' approach to the derby. And I think Tandy also um, spoke about it, about how it's so important uh, for the Buccaneers to really have a stronghold on this specific encounter and game. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, Tato. Good afternoon to everyone. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, it's very important, you know, when you go into such matches to prepare well, to make sure that the mindset is in the right space, you know, to take the game seriously. Um, like you already know, we won the first leg and, you know, we really want to do the double this time around. And, and a lot of people are speaking about the numbers, the double, and all the elements that go into uh, the story. As a London Pirates, you just played a match last night against Cape Town Spurs. Uh, and that result, um, just like Kaiser Chiefs' result against Golden Arrows, somehow to the fans, pertain what they can expect this weekend. As a team coach, after last night's game, not too much time, of course, but to see your preparations through for the meeting on Saturday, what, what are those small preparations that you do have? Well, as you said, we just played a few hours ago. Um, not, not the result that we were looking for, not the performance that we were looking for last night. But uh, the derby is giving us an opportunity to, to come back in a in a good way, in a good style. It's the best opportunity, it's the best scenario. And even though we have only only two days of uh, a specific preparation for this game, I think at this point of the season, we we should be prepared for each and every game already. We know each other uh, more than OK, like like uh, Coach Johnson was also express, expressing before. Um, the preparation for the game, at least for the coaching staff, start much early for the players the the focus was in the in our previous opponents but from now it's uh, it's 100 percent in the next one and the next one is is kaiser chiefs and, and you know when it comes to Orlando pirates and i spoke to keegan about when it comes to a derby form goes out the window um the goals are there for pirates uh keep on scoring but but when it comes to the derby it's a bit different and when you listen to the numbers um, 180th derby that we're playing this weekend and Chiefs have the bulk of those wins. Looking at the log, only one point separates you two. So not too many differences, you know, when it comes to Chiefs and Pirates going into this one. Yeah, not too many differences, Tato, but I mean, like you've already said, form doesn't really count in these matches. Um, you know, we know we, we won the first leg, but we, we will never rest on our laurels and, and depend on that. We need to just ma uh, make sure that we go out there, we do our best, uh, we prepare really, really well, so that when the moment comes, we, we are able to execute. So, you know, we are hoping that we are the team that will go out there and, and get the three points. And, and preparation of your team, Coach, uh, how is your team looking? We've seen some niggling injuries, some suspensions and so forth. The team in its whole entirety and, and readiness for the derby this weekend. No, in terms of uh, players available, we have more than enough. Uh, there's no body suspended for the game. Uh, we have some question marks as we did uh, have yesterday as well. Uh, but you know, it's that type of game that even if you are not 100%, you want to show that you are and everybody is going to be for sure pushing tomorrow again to to show that, that they are ready and they can have a space in the 20 players who are going to to come before this game and, and everybody's for sure looking for find themselves in the star 11 because it's that type of uh, day that nobody wants to wants to miss yeah. Yeah. 
nobody wants to miss it, a very special one. Uh, speaking to Coach Kevin Johnson, I mentioned how um, when he sat here for the first derby, it had just been 24 hours since he came into the club. And, and I think the last time you spoke about the derby, you spoke about why it's so special to you and the players at Orlando Pirates, it, elaborating what it means to the Buccaneer, this specific derby. Do you still go in with that same mentality and that same messaging to the fans and the players as to why it is so important for the club of uh, Buccaneers? Absolutely. I think that when you are part of one of these two teams, uh, you know that it's almost like you have to see it in isolation. I think the derby is something it's something else. You have to get your objectives in, in each and every competition and then you have the derbies because you know how much uh, it means for the fans, how much it means for the people who is working in the clubs as well, that it's been around for many, many, many years. Uh, so it's, it's easy to feel it from the, from the beginning, from the first days in the club. And after one and a half season here, it's still the same feeling, the same responsibility. Uh, it's one of those days that uh, you really feel special when you are sitting in, in a bench uh, surrounded of uh, more than 90,000 spectators. And it's one of those days that, uh, you know, helps to make sense of uh, all the efforts that we are putting in our careers to, to have the opportunity to, to enjoy uh, a game like this. The opportunity to enjoy a game like this, most of us in this room, only a handful would ever understand how it feels like to stand on that field with over 90,000 or 90,000 and some fans screaming your name and really cheering you on. That feeling and how important it is. What happens the day before the derby? You know? Uh, I mean, look, Tato, I've been blessed enough and privileged enough to have played or uh, to be part of, you know, the Soweto Derby in so many occasions. But I mean, look, you try to become, you try to be level-headed, you know, you try to stay in a space where you ignore the noise, you know, you focus on the game plan, you focus on what you have to do on the day, you know, you surround yourself with your loved ones. Um, but like the coach has said, it's a, it's a special match, it's a special day for the people, you know, for us as players, for the club, for our fans, for our families. But yeah, I mean, preparation going into the game, you try to be in that space where you're only thinking about the game and, and not the occasion. Last uh, message, you know, and coach, to the fans that are coming out to the stadium this weekend, it is the London Pirates home match, and, and the messaging that you'd like to give out ahead of uh, this time, you know, start with you. Yeah, um, first and foremost, be safe. Uh, try, you know, to be early as possible at the stadium. Um, and we urge our supporters you to come out in numbers and support us, you know, like they always do when we play our home matches. Uh, yeah, and we promise that we'll give them uh, a show that they'll never forget. Entertainment galore, like we've always said. Coach, final word for me? Yeah, first of all is their responsibility. Uh, I think they know how to do it. They, they show a good example the last time and then hopefully they can create the, the right vibe the, the, the proper energy in order to to help us to 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 face this difficult challenge uh, but understanding that it's important for us that they they play the game with us that we can play the game together